the blues came to Muskegon in the 40s and beyond. Jazz and blues legends stopped by on their way to Idlewild, north of Muskegon. One club they made their way to was Sepius. B.B. King was one of the regulars through here. And Bobby Blue Bland, John Lee Hooker, Howlin' Wolf, uh, Lil' Junior Parker, Johnny Taylor. Every name in rhythm and blues that you can think of had been to Muskegon. And either before or after, they would be at Sepia's. You had the Sepia Tavern, you know, down on Spring Street. Dave Sepia sold it to Mr. Ruben Brown. And that was our night spot. Oh, did I ever go to the Sepia Club? Yes, it was, it was where we had fun. And it was just striking to see the, the people and, and, and they had the jazz on and the blues and how they danced and they laughed and they had a place that they could go to. That was about the only nicest place that they had to go at that time, you know, because uh, they weren't allowed to go in the white places. So, But it was a nice bar. Black and white would come there, so we'd have a good time down there. You know, it's a funny thing about black businesses. They usually don't tell, they don't disallow people to come in because of your color or anything like that. You know, they just, everybody is welcome. People just came and enjoyed the music and danced. There was a large dance floor. The Sepia Club was, was the place to be. It was the elite place of entertainment at that time. People dressed when they came to Sepia because it was an event, it was a night out, and they came to have fun and have a good time. It was like going to a Hollywood movie. They were dressed in hats and gloves and purses, and the men had on straw hats and ties, and they dressed up to go to Sepia. I can remember hearing people say, wow, I have to go shopping, I have to get something new to wear to Sepia this weekend. Sepia was a hot spot because that was where the blacks could go and drink and kind of work off their uh, anxieties. There were some fights uh, occasionally outside of the club. The weekend started on Thursday night. Oh, see, that was the last shift for the uh, third shift. They didn't go to work on Friday night. I can't tell you very much about Sepia Club. All I know that it was downtown, and I know that if I had gone in there when I was growing up, I would have been in serious trouble. Sepia was more actually than just a nightclub. Style shows were held there, and I remember Dad would put up a long runway. Different people would model their own clothing, sometimes clothing from other stores. And whenever a young soldier went off to war, they would have a party for him at Sepia called a victory party. And they always gave him a nice send-off and two cartons of Chesterfield cigarettes. 